Good day, everyone. Today's lecture's theme is James Asher's method, total physical response for students of specialty foreign language to foreign languages. And today's speaker is Adana Sinhanga, Group One O Two. So here is the content of the lecture. Which consists of problem questions, introduction, TPR, and the essence of the method, pros and cons of TPR, and ways to use TPR most effectively, and conclusion references. So the purpose of the lecture is to give students basic theoretical substantiation and explanation of the essence and ways of implementation of the TPR method. And during the lecture, we will define the concept of TPR and identify the essence and features of it, and consider the pros and cons. Figure out connection uh, with other learning theories and consider the ways of applying TPR in practice. So, there are some problem questions that you can take a screenshot of it, and at the end of the lecture, you may ask, uh, you may answer to these questions. Thank you. So, I would like to start our lecture uh, from this quotation and at the same time question. Babies don't learn by memorizing lists, so why should children and adults? So, as well as we know, that there are many approaches to teaching English, but it's difficult to find an ideal method. In the traditional methods of teaching foreign languages, the bulk of information is often presented in the form of text in a textbook or a teacher's story, which can occasionally be accompanied by illustrations or inscriptions on the blackboard. In contrast. TPR, total, uh, which stands for total physical response, is one of the attempts to convey the necessary information and help students to assimilate it through all the main channels of perception, like visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Actually, it was developed by James Asher, who is a professor of psychology in the 60s and 70s of the last century. It was initially uh, intended for adults and was based on the theory of hemispheres. Uh, which is a theory that the left hemisphere of the brain is uh, responsible for abstract logical thinking and language abilities, and the right hemisphere is responsible for thinking, creativity, and intuition. Asher suggested using the right hemisphere in language learning, not just the left one. So now this theory is uh, outdated, but uh, the method of total re uh, physical response remains. So the essence of the method is to memorize new words, phrases. And lexical constructions、uh, using gestures, commands, and pantomime games. For instance, on the word ball, children depict the object、uh, itself and games with it. And in this way, you can learn a huge number of words by memorizing them associatively. So James Asher first described the TPR method in his book, which is called、um, "Learning Another Language Through Actions." According to him and other lang linguists. Good language learners achieve fluency faster when they are immersed in activities that involve them in situational language use, and start the language learning with a period of silence,、uh, and also show comprehension by successfully accomplishing language-generated tasks. And also, they make faster progress when the content involves language that is clearly usable or valuable outside the classroom. And the method of total physical response、uh, is a natural method, since James Asher considers the first and second language learning as a parallel process. He argues that teaching and learning a second language should reflect the naturalistic process of learning the first language. For this reason, he identifies three main processes. The first one is before children develop the ability to speak, they develop the competence of the listener. And second one, children learn to understand oral speech as there is a need for its physical response to the speech of parents. And the third one is、uh, when a child has learned to listen and understand oral speech, to respond adequately to the commands of parents. And his own speech develops and is pr produced naturally and effortlessly. The explanation of some experts about this、uh, Asher theory and Larson. Freeman's book that the total physical response is a comprehension approach. It means that understanding takes precedence before language pronunciation. This method 
motivates and advances young learners' mastery of the target language. In addition, this method doesn't require a lot of speech on the part of the teacher because the teacher gives instructions directly to the learner without having to translate it to the first language. And they also determine certain、um, guiding principles of TPR as the following. For example, the target language should be presented in chunks, not just word by word. And students should be made to memorize fixed routines. And correction should be carried out in an abstracted manner. And language learning is more effective when it's fun. And students will begin to speak when they are ready. And students are expected to make errors when they first begin speaking. Teachers should be tolerant of them. I work on the fine details of the language should be postponed until、uh, students have become somewhat proficient. And in the classroom, teachers row and students row well while using TPR method. Teacher have to teachers have to decide what the Teach and models and presents、uh, new materials, and they have to select supporting materials for the classroom, and they are responsible to provide opportunities for learning and allow speaking abilities to develop at learners' own pace.、Uh, and students' role is to listen attentively and respond physically, and produce novel combinations on their own, and encourage to speak when ready. And、according to North Murin, and basic technology of TPR method is simple. Students load the commands、uh, given by the teacher or the classmates, and these commands or series of commands are simple at the beginning, but they become more complex. So, TPR can be represented as a chain of actions related to single complex tasks. For example, sit down, take a pen and paper, write it down at the top of your sheet,、uh, or even to the storyline. So when should TPR be applied? So we have to bear in mind this basic rule of TPR: you cannot understand what you haven't done yourself. And according to this, that we can realize that the same characteristics of TPR, TPR can be should be and used to solve a variety of tasks and practice vocabulary related to movements and body parts and activate temporary constructions. Learn classroom expressions and commands, and stage stories and stories for relaxation and change of activity during physical break. So, in the classroom, students are not just passive listeners, but also they are actively involved in the educational process by movements, phrases with different intonation, and they repeat words, invent their own games, and dance. Also, there are some pros and cons of TPR that we have to consider. First, let's look at the positive aspects of TPR. For example, it creates a positive atmosphere in the classroom, and the math is well suited for kinesthetic students, and it promotes better memorization of material. And the math is applicable in both large and small groups. And using this method doesn't require painstaking preparation for the lesson. The math is very effective with teenagers and young students, especially. And there are also some disadvantages. Among them are guys who are not、uh, used to participating in active games may feel shy. So, however, this can only happen at the beginning、uh, of the training. So, time by time, the success will join the learning、uh, process. The method of、uh, total physical response is really suitable only for beginners. However, this method may be partially applicable in the, to the teaching of advanced level children. The method is not universal; it is used only when teaching certain types of speech activity. And this method is an interesting way to change the dynamics of the lesson. It is good、uh, in combination、uh, with other methods and technologies. That might be the solution to this problem. To this、um, mentioned problem. And using the TPR method is difficult for a teacher to present abstract vocabulary or expressions. The solution is to make cards、uh, with the right words or prepare im- images, which may not be applicable in every situation. And there are some connected theories.、Uh, one of them is behaviorism,、uh, developed by Skinner. 
uh, the theory uh, sees learning merely as a result of imitation, practice, reinforcement, and habit information. And apart from behavior reasons, CPR can also be connected to the trace theory in psychology, which claims that the more often or the more intensively a memory connection is traced, uh, the stronger the memory association will be and more likely it will be recalled. And also there are some ways of using TPR in the classroom. For example, every TPR lesson needs to include three steps, like teaching and learning, practice and rehearsal, and testing and evaluation. If you do have more than 10 students, uh, maybe you can use a volunteer. If so, uh, then be sure to provide training and lesson plan record it to monitor progress and you may find that you can um, increase the number of vocabulary items for an ambitious class by moving into a different topic area. You may need fewer vocabulary items for a slower class. And use consistent imperatives and set smart goals and maintain the pros and evaluate. And here's a link of the YouTube video which shows a demonstration, a TPR sequence with a class of children. I can send uh, this link to your chat box and we can make a discussion uh, after this video. So there are some examples of TPR commands, like for example, room and numbers. You can connect the room ver verbs for room and nouns, for example, stand up or sit down, or touch, or look at the window, walk to the chair, and open the door, and etc. Or jump one time, clap eight times. And also for parts of, parts of the body, touch your nose, hair, hold your left arm, right leg, open your mouth, and etc. You can use it. So, in order to check your knowledge uh, at the end of this lecture, you can pass this quiz and your scores will be shown up there. This quiz actually consists of 10 questions. So, your scores will be shown up there. And to conclude, here is a method. Um, where all the main channels of perception, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic are provided. And uh, in the classroom, the instructor is the director of a stage play in which the students are the actors. And the learners in total physical response have the primary roles of listener and performer. And the method is good for passive perception of foreign language, but not for active generation of speech and self-expression. And as for many actions, after a while where there comes adaptation to physical actions on the teacher's commands in a foreign language, when the brightness of impressions themes. Speaking of application and practice, students uh, respond to commands that require physical movement, and TPR is primarily intended for uh, teaching language as a second language, all the, uh, the method is used to teaching other languages as well. And to conclude that we will uh, say that learning needed to be and become more enjoyable and less stressful. So that's why we have to use TPR in the right moment in appropriate uh, places. So there are some references that you can use to for your submitting uh, projects and seminar tasks. And thanks for your attention.